Hello traders, hello traders, à l'état de vidéo, is gold fields, LTD stock, price analysis, using smart media lines. All right, so I have here what we call the smart media line. The smart media line is the most influential critical price level. We have six critical price levels. Critical price level number one, two, three, four, five, and six. But the most influential is the smart media line. To learn more about uh, the smart media line and the critical price level trading, go to www.dprotraders.com. At the home page, did I say home page? Home page. Place the cursor on the word more. You see the drop down menu. Scroll down to Market Watch. There is a web page that is called Market Watch and check it out. I will also put it in the descriptive section for you. So check it out so you can learn more. Okay, how to find the six critical price level. Most importantly, the most influential critical price level that we call okay the smart media line. Now, as you can see, I have many, many okay. Smart media line. So all the orange line that you see on this chart are smart media line. So each year we have one smart media line. Very interesting. But that level is a very powerful key level. And sometimes you can see excellent trading opportunity on the edge of the smart media line. So if you are looking for a home run stock or high probability trading setup, use the smart media line. Okay. Now, so the first orange horizontal line on my chart, that's the smart media line of this year, 2019. So we have it there. Now, that's the, I'm going to change that color a little bit into green for what I'm about to do next. Uh, we're going to switch now to the daily chart and see what is happening there so far, because now I'm on the yearly chart. That's our current smart media line. And the good news is that the price is near that smart media line. So we want to see whether there is some action. Can we use that word? Action on, on near that zone. So I'm on a daily chart now. As you can see, that's our smart media line for this year, 2019. And I'm going to place uh, a line there. Here it is. Uh, beginning of the 2019, the price ran quickly to hug or to kiss. You see? You kiss this mummy and I say, I spot you. <laughs> Can you see that? One, two, three. Now, this to make you laugh a bit, all right? Because traders do not smile, so I make you laugh a bit, okay? And then after that, you form a triangle. So what do we say to traders? You see a triangle. Okay, there is something, there is a video that I'm about to post in the near future, and you do not want to miss it. I'm going to talk about the uh, Ilya Way principle, that no one is talking about. This is exactly what's happening here now. I need to note down this stock gold fields. So when I'm recording that video, I can come I can come back to gold field. In your way, principle, no one is blah blah blah. Okay. So so we see the triangle, the triangle is saying to us, anything is possible. Very often after a triangle, we have a strong momentum. This is what I'm going to discuss with Ilya Way traders. It's a special Ilya Way principle. So anything is possible. The price can go down and continue to go down, or it can continue to go up. So this is a continuation fact. It slow down and it come out. Look what it did here. Me just before the media line, it breaks above on here on the daily chart now. The triangle nicely and then retest it with two candles back incident. And then after that, it just run. It touch it. Look at that. Look at this daily chart. It acknowledge it. So the price is always acknowledging. Very often you acknowledge it. So you come near it, you say, uh oh, there is something huge ahead. Turbulence. Okay. So it slow down a bit, compose itself, so to speak. It's like a Olympic athlete try to jump over the bar. So he goes back, slow down, and then he runs fast, and then pack, he jumps. Can you see the gap? How he jump above it. 
I, very often you see that. There was another example that I showed today. Uh, that was a barrick stock on the monthly chart. It gap up above the SMAMI Jana. Here on the daily chart, it gap up above it to avoid the resistance. So the market knew that this is a very important okay, key level, a high impact key level. We are talking about the most influential critical price level. So they say the only way to survive in this zone as a bullish trader is to jump above it like an Olympic athlete. And that's what they did. And then from there, they just ran away with it. So now with that... Uh, So the triangle, if I came out of it, you project it like this, yes or no? So there is a target here, the break above the target, that's the ultimate target. And now they are heading to the next target level and they have already hit it. So you want to know the price does not go up or down for no reason. Now it's acknowledging that zone also because of the target. So. Would you agree with me that uh, this was not a bad decision to place uh, this uh, key level, uh, the small media line for 2019 right there? Can you see that a trading setup did occur? So if you buy here, your first target is this one, which people did. Now, a gap up. Do you know how to trade a gap? <laughs> All right. <laughs> the gap was not filled. It's a continuation. It just ran few, 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 few up more to hit the next target also. He hit the first target with a bullish candlestick, but that did not even acknowledge the target. Look at that, bullish candlestick. It's a while more when you get to the next target level. Was that useful? So, but I'm not talking about that just one my media line. I'm going to change the color again into orange because I'm going back to the yearly chart so so now we have many small media line. so the first one i talk about it already this is for 2019 this one is for 2018 so at the beginning of 2018 we could have drawn this line here which is the small media line for 2018 so here this is the spam media line for 2017, and the next one is 2016, and the next one is 2015. Now, it doesn't mean that it's always like this, they are above each other. They can be all over the place. So you can have, for instance, 2015 somewhere here, and 2019 here, and you can have 2017 here, and then 2016 will be there. So uh, here, it just means that because the price consolidated the way the price moved here, uh we just it just happened to be like this 2019 2018 2017 2016 2015 so it's very good for me as i'm recording the video i don't have to look again and find out which one's which i just know straight away that from 19 we are going to 15 in this order so we have many small media line so when we have many multiple small media line it becomes a little bit interesting if we see what we call a concentration or a convergence of two or more small media line. So we are talking about uh, the most influential critical price level. But if we have two or three in the same zone, we know that that zone, there is a value. All right? There is a kind of a value and we can't ignore it. And we are very pleased to know that we are aware of it. So when the price one day reaches that level, okay, we, we know how to deal with it because we know that uh, there is a convergence of uh, multiple small media line. So for this stock, talking about gold fields stock, you can see that the 2015 and 2016 um, uh, small media line are quite close. So this is very, very interesting zone if one day the price reaches this, if it's rising, it comes near that level, uh, it may find a resistance first, and you may slow down first before it may go above it, or it may find a resistance and come back down. Uh, look at, looking at the way it stands now, this is just uh, analyzing the chart with the small media line. Another thing that can happen there is that the price can oscillate between the two that are very close in a very narrow, so this is good for scalpers and day traders, for many days before breaking a bowing, or 
he can consolidate from this one here, the one of 2017, all right? So you may be using that as a base, and then finally you're using the, the, the last two here as a resistance zone. So you may be going from here into that zone, blah, 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 before going above it. So when we are using multiple small medium line, we need to pay attention to, okay, the convergence of the small medium line. Which zone are they concentrating there? Another thing that you need to understand that when you see them, if you see a convergence, of small media line, they can also behave like a magnet. All right. So sometimes the hedge funds they are doing their fundamental analysis, they are using their book value, blah 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 blah. And sometimes we have a coincidence between you know, those small media line and those value that the fundamental traders are using. If that is the case, sometimes the convergence of those small media line can behave like a magnet which means the prime may try to reach those zones. The prime may try to revisit that zone, to test that zone. Do you know that the prime tests zone? Yes, it does. It, it will test the zone to see the reaction. Are we going to have a resistance? Are we going to have a support? Can we break above it? So sometimes because of those convergence uh, and other fundamental trading matrix that the hedge funds and the smart money is using that can also cause the price to try to revisit those zones. But talking about my own proprietary trading tool, we can do more with that when we have uh, the same okay smart media line. So in that case, it's not like uh, so you may have, for instance, there are times okay there are times when you can have uh, the same smart media line for five years, even for three years. So suppose this is usually the case if the price is stuck in the same zone, especially if you have a consolidation. So suppose you have a consolidation from 2005 all the way to 2015, and the price is in a range. So it's a very narrow range. You are likely to see, okay, that uh, the small media line for two or three years or five years may be identical or maybe almost identical. In that case, we'll be talking about breakout, break below, or break below. We have a high chance that we may see a stock that may gap up and start running fast if the fundamentals are solid, and if they have a brighter future, and they have a strong management in place, and the, the global macroeconomy environment is good, talking about uh, central bank policy is also helping. Like in 2009 was a good time to enter the market. If you see a stock that was... Um, having an identical small media line for two for three or more years, that's very in, a very interesting cutting date uh, for a bullish breakout or for buy and hold after one has performed okay, a thorough uh, a fundamental analysis. Okay? So just quickly to touch upon how we can use multiple okay, a small media line. The convergence of uh, uh, small media line create a zone of value. Those zone of value can, can, can be like a, a hotspot trading zone, can attract the price, can behave like a, a compact resistance or a compact support. And we need to be aware of those. There are times when we have sometimes identical smart media line, or you may have four or three smart media line, almost identical. So you'll be drawing them quite close to each other. So what I've done on this chart of gold fields, stock is that uh, I just go on and start drawing, okay, the small media line for 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016, 2015, and this is what I got. I can continue to draw them all, go to 2014, 2013, and so on. And then I will discover other trading zones, other convergence zones, and a very interesting scenario. And because those are high impact of highly influential key level, we can't ignore them. So once I've done that, I leave it there. But because we are in 2019, when you are doing a multiple smart media line like this, one thing that you do not want to forget, you want to draw for that particular year, so because today we are in 2019 today, after drawing all those multiple smart media line, 
on my chart. Now I have to draw the other critical price level, talking about critical price level one, two, three, four, five for this year, 2019. Right? So for those of you that are not familiar with uh, the proprietary trading tool of the critical price level, please go to www.dayprotraders.com. All right? At the home page, I say home page, place the cursor on the web mount, on the drop down menu, click on market watch, market watch, and just sit down with your favorite, uh, okay, coffee or tea or soft drink, whatever you like, and then uh, digest it, read it, and uh, within one hour, you understand everything about the six critical price level, and you can go to the yearly chart, withdraw all the six critical price level on the yearly chart, not the monthly chart, not the hourly chart, the yearly chart only. So if you are using a trading software that does not allow you to see the yearly chart, well, um, you may try to look at TC2000, can you afford it? Is it good for you? Is it too costly for you? If it's too costly for you, well, uh, then uh, that's fine. Now, you need a yearly chart. Unfortunately, you need a yearly chart. But I don't know whether you can get away with it. If you go to the quarterly chart using the four quarterly candlestick bar, try that. That will represent one year, but it's going to be too many candlestick bar for you to calculate this mammy line. So to calculate this mammy line, we use... Uh, five candlestick bar of the last five years. So because we are in 2019, the last five years is 2018, 2017, 2016, 2015, and 2014. Those are the last five years. So we highlight the high of the range of those last five years and the low. And now we draw the median line of the range of those last five years. That's the orange line here. The same thing we did to calculate other small median line for the previous year. So at the beginning of a new year, the first trading day of each year, we can draw a small media line. But past, past or like I did here, or the past small media line, you can go now and draw them all on your chart and have them ready. And then you can just play with them on your lower time frame, looking for trading set out on or near uh, one of those, uh, okay, uh, small media line. But as I told you, did I say that already? Okay, I'm repeating it if I said it already. Very, very important. Because we're in 2019, you must draw the other five critical price level. So because you're in 2019, you must have the six critical price level for this year. That's for sure. Did I say to you? Very important. You must have the six critical price level. But apart from those six critical price level, you can now explore, so to speak, other Okay, small media line, just the small media line of previous year. Okay, so the six critical price level for this year, all of them, including the small media line for this year. But apart from those, draw all the past critical price level, especially if the price is not near the current six critical price level. So suppose uh, the, the this year six critical price level are confined in this zone. But the price is not up there, which means the price is away from them. Now, I will investigate by drawing past, okay, uh, small media line only, not uh, critical price, only the past small media line. I want to know where they are so I can make decision around them. So when you are using the critical price level, they are not a magic one. They are just a high influential key level. Very often, excellent trading setup, high probability trading setup, you occur on or near the high impact, okay, a key level, uh, talking about the small media line, okay. Don't forget to draw other channel and trend line as you do before, because sometimes when traders are doing something new, they forget everything. They say, oh, now it's this critical price level that is the key. I don't want to do anything anymore. No, don't, everything that you have learned before, you can still use them in conjunction with the six critical price level. Combine it. Combine earlier way trading, combine Fibonacci trading, combine P factor trading, market geometry trading with the six critical price level. And by the time you know, all right, you start uh, trading okay, much, much better. As you can see, at the beginning of the year, you can see from a nice triangle there, we test it and then here it is. Now, what we need to pay attention, as I told you, we are near a target zone now. 
uh, is again consolidating again in a very funny triangle. All right, so you have to keep your, your eyes on it. All right, and see it gently, gently. Wait for it to set nicely. Identify a trading setup on the edge, and most importantly, remember to implement a different time frame trading method. So you see, to me, George. I don't know anything about different time frame trading method. Well, uh, go to www.stochastic-magd.com at the home page. Did I say home page? Place the cursor on the word more and uh, scroll down so you can see every page until you see the top down trading method. I have like five videos here and uh, try to listen to it. I'm, I was speaking with my beautiful Texas accent. Now, this to make you laugh a bit. All right. So, Watch the video so you may also learn about uh, a top-down trading method and then slowly by gradually, all right, you will master the top-down trading method. So somebody who know how, who understands, okay, the six critical parts level, who wants to use the multiple smart media lines, must, after learning it, must now use a demo account, practice. Why? Because by practicing, one will gain more experience, skills, one will discover new things, one will polish it more, and when one is ready, one will go live, okay? Don't go straight away playing with it, and then you say, oh, George, 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 this is not for me. Go gently, be patient, be composed, okay? Use it like a pro. And remember that use a top-down trading method when you see a trading setup. Like here now, as it did happen here, you say, um, it looks to me that uh, this thing is going to fly away. All right, so you say that to yourself. You say, okay, I'm on a daily chart. Very interesting. We are above, okay, the triangle. All right, and then you can say daily chart, hourly time frame, 10 minute time frame. That's a top down trading method. All right. Or you may, if you want to be speculative, all right, so you say, all right, I don't know how to handle this. I don't mind losing 50 pips. Well, that's your decision. So you are taking a speculative trade without using a top down trading middle. You know the risk. They can take you out. But you make a decision knowing exactly what you are doing, which is good, all right? So this will conclude our discussion today about gold fields, LTD, stock price analysis using smart media line in fact using multiple smart media line we were talking about the convergence of a multiple smart media line all right that usually will attract the price that can be here like a compact support or a compact okay resistance level uh, there is a value there and we need to be aware of that okay if you have any question or suggestion feel free to put in a comment section and of course, I will be recording another video uh, to answer your specific question. We are recording this video today because uh, a TSTWHYS008 trader did ask me to go a little bit deeper on this subject. That's why we are recording this video today. All right. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank that trader for asking relevant essential questions. So if you are a TST trader or you are a subscriber, feel free to put your question in the comment section. And of course, I will be back again recording another video uh, to explain to you more, okay, uh, the critical pass law. As I said to you, go to www.dayprotraders at the homepage, drop down menu, market watch, okay, top down trading method, go to www.stochastic-magic.com, homepage, drop down menu, click on the top down trading method, okay. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please give us the thumbs up. All right. Give, if you forget, come back again and give us the thumbs up. Okay. If you think that George, twenty-four minutes, you go through your blah 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 blah, same story, repackaging nonsense. All right, mark it down, please. Okay. However, if you think that George, well, uh, that was good for me. I was thinking to unsubscribe, but with this video, I will stay put. I like it very much. It's an essential tutorial. Uh, feel free to share with your friend on the social media. All right, so this will conclude our discussion today about the gold field, stock price analysis using smart media lines. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Day Pro Traders. Be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. 
until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are at TSTWSYS008 Traders, talking about gold field, stock price analysis using smart media lines. Happy trading to you all. And I will uh, speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.